Hey everybody, welcome to Bucket Man Scouting. In today's video, I'm going to do an all-22 film breakdown on the Denver Broncos versus the Buffalo Bills. So this is the first play first series and the first turnover of many for the Buffalo Bills in this game. This is the one turnover I will give the Denver Broncos defensive credit, uh, defense credit for. I've been very high on number 29, McMillan, ever since you know the content creators started talking about him. I think that he is a very good nickel slot corner, in my personal opinion. I think he makes plays and he sets the tone for this uh, for the entire game on this play right here. So, again, if the Buffalo Bills didn't turn it over five times, um, I believe they would have won this game. I, there's no if ands, or buts. If they would have stuck to what worked and what the Broncos defense presented the Bills this entire game with all the passing lanes in the soft zones, if the Buffalo Bills didn't shoot themselves and play stupid football, I believe Buffalo would have won this game. That is my personal opinion. Because there were many instances throughout this entire game in which I'll show you where the Buffalo Bills did not take advantage of the opportunities presented to them. So you're going to see right here a little dump pass to Cook, who I think the Broncos exposed because he can't hold on to the ball. Looks like Willis McGahee-esque. And that's a very good play by McMillan. I'm going to give the Broncos credit for that turnover. That's a very good play by McMillan, and that it was the that was the tone setter for this game, was that play right there, in my personal opinion. And again, if Cook would have held on to that ball, that would have been a positive game. But again, you know, you want to play stupid football and turn it over a bunch and give the Broncos every opportunity, be my guess, you're going to lose. Okay, this is the first series and the first play for the Denver Broncos offensively. I did like what I saw from the Broncos until the third quarter, until they went Shermer ball. But basically what the Denver Broncos are doing here is they're running bucket man football, Denver Broncos mile high view football, and the bubble man football here. Okay, halfback draw to Javante. There you go, right up the middle, where I think is the strength of this offensive line is going forward up those A and B gaps here, especially the A gap. Behind these three guys right here, running it forward, the power running game. They're positive net yardage right there. Okay, on this play, you have 19 coming in motion. Again, I really like how Sean Payton... Until the third quarter, but before that, I really liked how Sean Payton moved these receivers close to the line of scrimmage, especially the offensive line. So you have a three wide receiver, three wide receiver set, one tight end, number eighty-two, Trotman. There you go, run the football again, Lloyd Cushenberry. I just Lloyd Cushenberry is a liability out there. I don't understand what people see in Lloyd Cushenberry. I just don't think he's a very good center. He gets pushed back constantly, and when you watch the All-22 film breakdown, watch him get pushed back by Jordan Phillips. I mean, that should not happen as a center. You need to set the tone as a center on your offensive line. And you know what's also funny? Is pro football focus, who I think gets paid by all these teams around the National Football League just to speak bullshit, and they're analytical and stat-driven, is they gave Mike McGlinchey a 79.1 pro football focus grade. Uh, pro Football Focus, um, what the fuck are you watching? Because when I watch Mike, McFlin Mike McFlinchy, he looks like crap out there. Again, it just, my God. I mean, Lloyd Cushenberry absolutely sucks. Okay, on this play right here. Again, I want everybody, and before people say I never said that, I want everybody to check number 85. I believe he is... If you develop him properly, and that's asking a lot from the Denver Broncos and the Walmart Generals organization, but if you develop him properly, he could be your pass-catching tight end that you found. I really like what I saw from number 85. So right here you have a four-wide receiver set. Number 14, Cortland Sutton coming to motion. And another thing, they need to, they need to stop going to Cortland Sutton like he's DK Metcalf 2.0. Cortland Sutton is a good red zone possession receiver, but he is not a DK Metcalf. Sorry, that's that's just the facts. That's what the All-22 film shows. And then Mike McFlinchy, again, does his typical McFlinchy false start bullshit. 
Unreal. And that's a 79.1 pro football focus grade. Well, that's just one play. No. Okay. Again, this happened throughout the entire game. He looked like dog shit. This is just one of many plays that he just, he sucks. And you gave him Jawan James level money. Well, he, he's not in the hot tub. No. Again, he play, he doesn't fit the system. Unreal. Okay, so you have a one, two, three, four wide receiver set. Halfback draw to Shamichael P. Ryan. Again, I believe the Denver Broncos have one of the better running back rooms in the NFL when they use them properly. So, again, it's just a matter of how are you going to utilize these three running backs. And I think Sean Payton has done a good job in this game up until the third quarter. And again, the Denver Broncos do better when they move forward that power running game. Okay, 3 nothing, Denver. Walmart Generals. Okay, so here you have the Buffalo Bills 1-2-3 wide receiver set. Tied in next to Spencer Brown. Single running back here. Latavius Murray. Again, he's wide open. Throw it to Latavius. Throw it to Latavius Murray! Again, you also have Dalton Kincaid right here, the tight end. You also have another one right here. Good interior. Look what happens when you have an interior pass rush. Look what happens when you have an interior pass rush. But again, Josh Allen had multiple opportunities to get rid of the ball. Again, Josh Allen, you need to get your head out of your ass. You have Latavius Murray right here, wide open. And also, on the, you could have thrown it right there. He, Dalton Kincaid was wide open. Also, you had Gabriel Davis, who was wide open. But again, look what happens when he holds onto the ball too long in the interior pass rush. That's why the bucket man, the fucking bucket man, wants interior pass rushers because that will happen. That should have been a flag. Okay, good. It was called. And then there you go. That that was good interior pass rushing by Zach Allen. Could you imagine if you had a DeForest Buckner next to a DJ Jones and a Zach Allen? Could you imagine if you had a Chris Jones next to a Zach Allen and a DJ Jones? Again, open in the soft zones. And that's a holding call on Osiris Torrance. Unreal, man. All right, here you go. So you have a 1, 2, 3, 4 wide receiver set. Again, this defense is... Begging to be thrown on. Again, you have him wide open. Throw it. He's open. You also have a guy down here in the, the flats. You have Kincaid who's wide open. Throw it to him. Another shitty throw. Dude, Jonathan Allen needs to get his head out of his ass. I believe. This is what I believe, ladies and gentlemen. And again, yeah, you don't know the game of football. Yeah, that's why I'm a coach and you're not. But whatever. If Alex Smith and Teddy Bridgewater or Tom Brady was in this game, people that don't have the big arm, that are processors, that get the ball out quick, that have a, a elite accuracy, and they're, they're deke and dunk quarterbacks, I believe they would have torched this Broncos defense. I mean, Kincaid was wide open in the soft zone. You also had Latavius Murray open right here. I mean, and, and then, oh, man, dude, I just, that is just a terrible throw and ball. You know what? This is why I don't like paying quarterbacks because they think that their shit don't stink after they get that contract and they don't have to try. Like, that That was just a fucking terrible, terrible, terrible throw by Jonathan, uh, Josh Allen. I mean, my God, you have the protection. Look at no pass rush to speak of. None. Oh, we have an elite pass rushing edge room. Yeah, okay. You have Kincaid wide open right here, middle of the field. Again, those are the things that the Bronco content creators and the Bronco fans won't bring up to you guys. There's two people wide open in the middle of the field. 
but instead he wants to throw it deep. Unreal. Okay, so here you go. They're gonna, Again, a jumbo set right here, top of your screen, single wide receiver down here. Again, look how far... Oh, man, this is what really, really, dry, really pisses me off is how far these corners play off. I just, I hate that shit. Pisses me off. A little quick pass. Doesn't do shit. Again, why, 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 again, 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 you don't go for the first down yard marker, you just do a dump pass. Why couldn't you have done that on first down or second down to get you in third and manageable? But no, you're, this is, oh my God. The play calling also sucked in this game. I I just don't understand that play call. I, I don't. I don't understand it. I don't understand that fucking play call. One, two, three, four wide receiver set here. Spreading out the Broncos. Okay. Open right here. Open right here. Davis is open right here. Throw it to him. There you go. See what happened? Look what happened. Demari Mathis absolutely sucks. I don't like the. I don't like. I didn't like the draft pick to begin with, and I don't like the player. There. Good job, Josh Allen. You actually throwing a good ball here. Look at no pass rush to speak of. Where's the pass rush, Denver? I thought you had an elite edge room. Where is the fucking pass rush at? Where is it? Look, look what happens. He has all the time in the world to read Warren Peace back there and throw the football. Well, you're just a Bronco hater. I am just watching what the coaches and all 22 film shows me. I'm not a fucking Bronco hater. I just don't put up with mediocrity and bullshit. That is what you're going to... If a competent quarterback... Again, these are in the soft zones. If a competent quarterback, if we play a competent quarterback that will hit these consistently, I mean, my God, this defense is being is asking to be thrown on, is begging to be thrown on. Okay, right here, spreading out the Broncos again. One, two, three, wide receiver set, single tight end next to Dawkins, the left tackle. Halfback run, there you go. Again, I, I, I also said during the game that this defense was absolutely getting blown off. The line, they, this defensive line sucks. They, they suck. Look at this. I said, run the ball up the middle. There you go. Look at this. Look look at Slow C. Jewel getting absolutely eaten alive by Mitch Moore, Morse, the center. And who is that? Latavius Murray. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Single back formation right here. One, two, three wide receiver set. Tight end right there. Davis comes in motion. Again, run the ball. There you go. Against whose side of the field? Against whose side of the field? Nick Burrito. Yeah, Nick, where was Nick Burrito in the game? Where was he? Where was Nick Benito at in this game? You guys said he's going to... He's Oh, my God. He's going to excel since Gregory's been gone. Look at that shit. He, his... his his edge setting is so terrible. I mean, it's god awful. Well, he got blocked in the back. He was still, he should have, again, he should have still blown up that play because it got off here. Watch. He had every opportunity to stop the running back here. His edge setting absolutely sucks. Nick Burrito sucks. He sucks. He's not an edge rusher. He's not a, he's not a stand up edge rusher. I've been trying to tell you guys that. You guys just pick what you want to listen to, and then you say, no, well, you never say anything good about the Broncos. No. What is there to like on this defense? What is there to like? Seriously, I'm going to ask a legitimate question. Outside of watching the game, what is there to like about this defense? Jonathan Cooper? I like Jonathan Cooper. McMillan? I like McMillan. But they need other players around him, too. I like DJ Jones. I do. But he doesn't have a Chris Jones to DeForest Buckner and Aaron Donald next to him. Okay, Diggs coming to motion here. Halfback toss. There, good play by DJ Jones. I love DJ Jones. I like the signing. He's a good run defender, but that's it. 
You need a DeForest Buckner, an Aaron Donald, a Chris Jones, a pass rushing Malik Jackson next, next to him. All right, here we go again. So, one tight end, three wide receivers, running back, Latavius Murray. Number 14, Diggs, comes in motion. And by the way, Diggs did have a bad back. So, again, just wanted to point that out before people say, well, he certainly locked down uh, Diggs. Diggs had a bad back, man. I mean, have you, have you guys experienced having bad backs? Diggs is wide open up here. Diggs is wide open. So, here we go. False start, Bills. Again, the Bills killing themselves, beating themselves. This is the Bills beating themselves. Jesus, that right tackle sucks for the Bills. They need to replace him. Spencer Brown sucks. All right, here we go. So we got a single tight end next to Dawkins, three wide receivers. Diggs coming in motion yet again. Look how far off Sertan's playing. Attack him. Look how far off these that cor look how far off Sertan's playing. Seriously. Kincaid's wide open. Latavius Marie's wide open. There you go. Go to Kincaid. There you go. Good job, Allen. That's a good throw. Good catch. There, good read. Get the ball out quick. Those are the type of quarterbacks I want. The guys that have elite footwork, elite accuracy, and get the ball out quick and read the field. That's the type you need the job. You need the Montanas, you know, the Brady's, the Alex Smiths. Alex Smith would have torched this Broncos defense if he played in this game because how wide open these receivers were getting in those soft zones. Okay, three wide receiver set. Kincaid's coming to motion. Again, no pass rush. No, again, wide open right here. He's wide open. Again, I swear to God, I, I swear, I swear to God on this play, if he would have caught that football, that would have been a touchdown. That would have been a touchdown by the Bills. If, if he would have caught that, you think Justin Simmons would have turned it 0-60 to 60 like that? Justin Simmons has, oh my God. Yeah, that's an instinctual play by Justin Simmons. How is that an instinctual play when the receiver deliberately did not catch the football? That was a good throw by Allen. That was a hell of a throw by Allen there. If he would have caught that ball in stride, that would have been a touchdown. Right there. That would have been a fucking touchdown. I guarantee you. Because you think Justin Simmons would have turned it on like that when he's playing back there for Manchester United? Playing goalie? That would have been a touchdown all the way. So again, the Bills beating themselves. Okay, second Broncos possession. You have an I formation. Again, here we go. Number 85, who I'm high on. Comes in motion. Again, there you go. Good play call. Again, the Broncos still struggle with those free runners. But again, I like I like this play by Sean Payton. I like the creativity here. The leak right here. Look at the leak right here, right about there. By number 17, Little Humphrey. That's a hell of a play call. Having that safety valve right there in the flats and having Little Humphrey uh leak out there in the flats. That's that's a good play call. Again, they still struggle with those fucking free runners. But again, there you go. There you go. Good play call by the by the by Sean Payton. <clears throat> All right, right here you have number eighty four, Chris Manhurts, two wide receivers, fullback uh, Michael Burton and Mc, uh, McLaughlin, the running back. Again, I just don't like running McLaughlin up those A and B gaps. He's an outside runner. He's a pass catching back. Again, some of the play calls on this play just that's just a, I don't like that play call. Just due to the fact that's not McLaugh McLaughlin's strengths. 
All right, I uh, want single running back is Javante, number 19, coming in motion, three wide receivers, one tight end, Chris Manhart's next to Mike McFlinchy. There you go, running it. There you go, running Bucket Man, Denver Broncos Mile High View, and the Bubble Man football right there. What did I say about this offense line? They do better when they go forward. Running between the A-gaps. Watch this whole entire interior offensive line. They are a better run-blocking moving forward unit than the interior is than a pass-protecting unit. There you go. And I don't want to hear from anybody that, oh, we said, I don't want to hear from any Bronco content creator out there that you said you need to run this type of football. You guys wanted the 20-plus yard Pat Shermer ball, which they do get into the third quarter, and guess what happened? They were going three and out. Wilson was thrown behind his receivers. Sacks galore. I don't want to hear anything about that. You guys said that you need, we, you, we need, the Broncos need to run that type of uh, offense. No. No, I'm not letting you guys get, get credit for that shit. Look at that. Good. Good job. See, that's the improvement I like from Wilson this year. He's not running around, running around like a chicken with his head cut off. He actually steps up into the pocket, finds the running back in the flats there, the safety valve. And there. Good. Good. I can live with that. Yes. That's a good play by Wilson. All right, I formation, two wide receivers, one tight end next to Garrett Holds. False start. Again, every time the Broncos get into the red zone, they beat themselves. More, more than more than not. It, it just it's a continuous thing. Ah, oh, Jesus. They take two steps forward, one step back every time. All right, two wide receivers, two running uh, running back, fullback, tied in next to Garrett Holds. End of rounds. I don't like that. Terrible play call. Again, just a stupid fucking call. That's the type of shit that I'm talking about that they need to get out of that fucking offensive system. I don't like that. Mims is your best separating receiver to the second level, and you use them on a fucking end around when you're close getting past the 50. But you had a false start, and then you had a stupid play call. Two back-to-back -back plays that you're, again, the Broncos. If the Broncos play a team that doesn't turn it over five times and they face a team that actually has their shit together, this team looks completely different. I believe this is my opinion. This is my opinion. You could take it or leave it. You guys will probably leave it because you guys go listen to the stupid people that will provide you the All-22 film. They listen to Pro Football Focus and provide you stat-based bullshit. My belief is, I believe the Broncos are getting set up. Once the Broncos face, down the, down the schedule here, once they face better teams that have their shit together, and I'm not going to make any predictions because I don't know what Vikings team, Browns team, Chargers team, Raiders team, we're going to get here. Lions team, I'm not going to make any predictions. But I'm telling you, if the, if the Broncos face a team that doesn't turn it over, that actually has a quarterback that actually hits the players in the soft zones and plays smart, methodical football, the Broncos will get beat. I believe that full-heartedly because of what the All-22 film shows. Okay, so now you're spending out the Bills. One, two, three, four wide receiver set here. Okay, 85 coming in motion. Eighty five's wide open. Again, look at that pressure. Again, the Bills, the Bills got pressure on Wilson, but was not able to get home. Again, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. That is that is not what they're gonna show you guys. The the the, the content creators will not show you this type of shit. Okay, look how that interior pass rush is now starting to get home. You had at you had number 85 wide open there. Wilson missed the target. That's the type of shit I want in my quarterback is get the ball out quick. You have Atkins coming in motion right here. 
And even uh, Troy Aikman said that both of these teams are trying to lose the game. He even said that in his broadcast. Nobody wanted this game. So again, it's not that the Broncos kicked the Bills' ass. I'm tired of that fucking narrative. That's a bullshit narrative. That's a lying to your audience narrative. You have number 85 wide open. That Wilson, 85 was open a lot in this game that Wilson did not connect with. Again, Ed Oliver, when you're going for a pass rush there, buddy, Ed Oliver, I'm going to bring something up with your technique, Ed, Ed Oliver. Again, you're not going to get this anywhere else. <clears throat> So, Ed Oliver, when you're going to sack a quarterback, you shouldn't be going high. You need to be going low, chop your feet so the guy can't go either way. So, right here, you beat Ben Powers, who's, who's absolutely sucked this year. Again, you try to go high. Go low, chop your feet so Russell Wilson can't go either way, and then you can make the uh, eventual sack. Again, he tries to go high. You have to go low. You have to go low. So they that, that's what they should teach you in Pee Wee football. I just don't fucking get it, man. One, two, three, wide receiver set. Oh, my God. Look at Lloyd Cushenberry bear-hugging Ed Oliver. Look at Lloyd Cushenberry bear-hugging Ed Oliver here. Watch Lloyd Cushenberry here, the center, who sucked in this game. Look at that. They're bear hugging him. Both Powers and Lloyd Cushenberry are that should have been a fucking flag. How was that not a flag? NFL, how is that not a flag? Seriously. If you are gonna defend this play, Bronco content creators, if you're gonna defend this shit, then you don't know the game of football. I'm sorry. That should have been a fucking flag. That is utter bullshit. Wow. Oh my god. Look at they're bear hugging him. You had Mims you had Mims open. You had Mims again again you had Mims open. You had Mims open. Again, Mims to me is the best receiver you have. Look at this. Right there. Throw it. Throw it. He's open. Again, Russell Wilson still can't read a field. Again, he's trying to go to Jerry Drops a Doodle Doo Judy when you have Marvin Mims at the bottom of your screen, wide open. God. And you have both Ben Powers and Lloyd Cushenberry bear hugging Ed Oliver. Oh, that's a fucking flag! And the Broncos go three and out. All right, right here. Three wide receiver set tied in next to Spencer Brown, the right tackle. Okay, get the ball out quick. There you go. Again, look how far off these corners are playing. Look how far off these corners are playing. Look how far off they're playing. I don't like that shit. I, I don't. This defense is asking to be thrown on time and time again. Why do you think the Bills tried to throw it on this team? Because they're asking to be thrown on in the soft zones. Where's the pass rush? Where's the fucking pass rush? Oh, yeah, we have an elite defensive line. Get the fuck out of here. Running it. Good play, Jonathan Cooper. I am such a big fan of Jonathan Cooper. Such a big fan. And you could go to my other film breakdowns and hear me say and praise Jonathan Cooper. I believe he's the only bright spot in your edge room. If Jonathan Cooper was next to an Aaron Donald, could you fucking imagine? Could you imagine Jonathan Cooper next to a Chris Jones? Look at that. Look at him setting the edge. There you go. Not You're not doing Nick Burrito shit. Look how he chops his feet, maintains the edge here. Watch him chop his feet. That's exactly what I want. Look at that. Look at that. Stay low. Stay low. Boom. Yes. Love that play by Jonathan Cooper. All right. Three wide receiver set, one tight end. 
Look how far off Sertan's playing, by the way. I, I just... Again, uh, again, uh, f again, that's a stupid play call. Again, the Bills beating themselves again. I don't understand this play call. Well, it's second and long and you do this shit? Like, that just doesn't make any fucking sense. It just, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Jumbo said at the bottom of your screen, single wide receiver, single tight end. So basically you have a one, two, three, four, five wide receiver set. Again, look how wide open Kincaid's going to be. I, I would have went to Kincaid because I don't trust Simmons and Pasco. I don't. He sucks. Look how far off Sertan's playing, by the way. Latavius. Oh, my God. You got to catch that football. Let's go back and see who else is open in the soft zone. There he is. Number 13's wide open, ladies and gentlemen. Number 13, you could have you could have fucking thrown a better ball than that, Josh Allen. 13 is wide open. Wide fucking open. I don't understand what these offensive coordinators watch on the film. I don't get it. Look at look who's wide open in the soft zone against PJ Locke. He's open in the soft zone. He's, oh my God. I just, ugh. I hate watching crap football. I hate watching it. One, two, three, four wide receiver set. Again, it's going to, this whole area is open. Again, he's open right here. He's, he's open. You also have him open right there. Wide fucking open. Against, oh my God, he's wide open. Look who's wide open here. Again, he's, double move on Damari. Look at that. Look at that shit. Again, isn't Justin Simmons, because Sertan has number 16. Isn't Justin Simmons' responsibility to have this side of the field? Look who's wide open running free. That could have been a touchdown. He could have thrown that fucking ball, but instead he goes to Stephon Dix, who's cut. I just, it's stupid shit like that that really grinds my gears. It pisses me off when I see shit like this. Again, and Jonathan Cooper was abusing Spencer Brown, but there's no interior pass rush to speak of. You could have stepped up into that pocket and thrown it on the sideline. It was wide fucking open. Again, brought, Bills beating themselves per fucking usual. Okay, so uh, single back, jumbo set right here, single receiver. There you go, running bucket man, bubble man, and chopped liver football. That's it. Again, it's just, it's common sense. And again, I got to give Sean Payton credit here for handcuffing himself because he's not a run first guy. But he's actually doing what I've said, Bubble Man said, and Denver Broncos my life you said. That's exactly how you need to play football right now. You have one of the better rooms in the league, the three-headed monster. Three wide receivers set here. Number 17 coming to motion. Again, I like how Sean Payton is utilizing these blocking Mike McGlinchey again. Mike fucking McGlinchey, dude. Mike McGlinchey. Oh, my God. He sucks. Absolutely sucks. And Pro Football Focus gave him a 79.1 passing grade. Look at him get owned here. That is that is just god-awful. That is so bad. Watch Mike McGlinchey here. Watch number 69 here. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. That is terrible. That is a terrible play. All right, so you have a two wide receiver set tied in right here and another tied in next to Mike McFlinchy. Okay, 19 coming to motion. Play action pass. Again, Mims is wide open here. Throw it to Mims. Throw it to Mims. Again, throw it to Mims. He's open.
You could have thrown it to Judy there, too. Again, there was two better options you could have thrown it to there. Oh, man. It just, it's so aggravating to see just, ugh. Like, okay, I can understand people giving credit to Wilson on this. He's not, you know, taking sacks. He actually has the protection to throw on this play. But, again, you had two better options there where you could have got more positive yardage on that play. But on the on the opposite side, I have to concede at least he dumped it off to Manhurts there and got positive yardage. But, again, you could have had a better play right there, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. You could have had a way better play. That play was set up nice. Play action. Look, there's no pass rush. You had Mims and you had Judy open. All right, I formation, two wide receiver set, one tight end next to McFlinchy. Halfback toss. Good play by number 43. See, why can't we get linebackers like this that can actually go sideline to sideline here? Look at number 43. That's just terrible blocking up front. Why can't we get linebackers like that? One, two, three, four, wide receiver set. Again, ac uh, number 85 is a guy I'm high on. Oh, my God. Miners got beat. Oh, my God. If I'm a defense, I would always have a spy on Wilson. I got to give Wilson credit. At least he took off and ran up the middle. But again, watch, watch Miners get beat here. Oh, my God. Holy shit. That is just, oh, my God. Again, the Bills were getting pressure, but they weren't able to get home. Again, what's going to happen when you face a defensive line that actually is able to going to capitalize on these opportunities? That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. There's always an asterisk next to everything with this Broncos team because, again, the Broncos are getting so getting so lucky with these the Chiefs and the Bills that aren't fucking playing their A game. I'm telling you, they face a team. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys a question. What happened to the Broncos when they faced teams that weren't turning it over five times and actually playing their A game? Oh, yeah, Miami Dolphins, anyone? Miami Dolphins? Chicago, anyone? When they are actually playing, what, three quarters of legitimate football and then they gave the game away? The Commanders, anyone? The, does anybody remember that Commanders game? Like, what's going to happen when they don't, when other, the, the opposing team doesn't turn it over a bunch? That's the big question here. And again, if you're gonna if you're gonna comment in my video saying I'm not giving the Broncos credit, get the fuck off my YouTube then, because your comment will be removed, and I'm not gonna give a shit. I don't respond to retards. So you have a jumbo set right here, one wide receiver. Again, look at these stupid go ball routes. I, I just, again, Pat Shermer football. Oh, my God. Content creators aren't going to show you that, are they now? That That is a perfect version of Shermer ball. You don't have anybody that can sit in these soft zones. Everybody has to go deep, right? Oh, just go deep with it. That should have been a holding call number 82. That should have been a holding call. Watch Trotman. Watch at the end here. Right there. How is that not a holding call right there? Can I zoom in? Because everybody hates when I do that shit. They get pissed. Oh, and look what's happening on the other side there. Garrett holds. Yeah. Yeah, top five. Top five. Sorry, I got to adjust my camera there. Yeah, that's a hold. That's a hold right there. Takedown. How is that not called, NFL? And this is happening around the league. So, But the Broncos are prone to do it time and time and time again, and it's never called. 
And don't give me that fucking bullshit that if they called every holding call, that, oh, it'd slow the game down. Shut the fuck up with that shit! You don't know the game of football if you're saying that! You're just a fucking fan! So shut up! Let the fucking coach do his job! Two wide receivers, two tight ends. There you go. Run the ball. Perfect. Bucket man. Football right there. Smash mouth football. Run the fucking ball. That's the positive. Lean on that strength, Denver. Look at me. Look at the glinchy again, man. A 79.1 pro football focus grade. Like, pro football focus, you're a complete fucking joke. Oh, yeah, that this right here, this play right here is a 79.1 pro football focus grade. Right here. Look at, look at that shit. Against, oh, my God. Absolutely fucking sucks. He sucks. That's just the facts. Okay, heavy personnel, one receiver. Run the ball, please. Hard play action. All right, he's open. Throw the ball. He's open. Again, he's late with it. Again! He's late with it. Hard play action. Ah, I see why. I see why right here. I be, oh, my God. Bear hugging it. Bear. Oh, man, I can't wait to critique this yeah 79.1 pro football focus great holy shit watch watch the captain himself mike mcflinchy all that money we alligated look at <laughs> look at that shit holy shit yeah mike mcflinchy yeah oh my god Holy shit. Look at Mike McFlinchy. Oh my god. Yeah. 79.1 pro football focus grade. Oh my god. That was such a horrendous technique pass blocking play. Oh, but pro football focus, that is a 79.1 play right there. Good job, pro football focus. You guys know your shit. Two wide receivers, two tight ends. Oh my, Ben Powers again. Again, they're not getting home, but they're getting pressure. I told you guys. I told you. Look what happens when you watch the all. Again, go deep with it. This is Pat Shermer football at its best. This is Pat Shermer football right here. That's Shermer ball. Wilson, getting it out, okay. But again, they're getting home. They're starting to get home on them, but they're not finishing. That's the problem the Bills had in this game. Look at Ben Powers here. Booyah. Okay, now you need to drop your hips and get them. Miss, another missed sack by Ed Oliver. That the content creators won't show you. So the Broncos go three and out after three plays of Shermer ball. Yeah, this is the, oh yeah, yeah. Broncos are kicking the Bills' ass right now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. They're moving it up and down the field on this Bills' defense. They're causing interceptions. They're kicking the Bills. They're putting the fear of God in the Bills right now. Yeah. But you have the Bills missing open receivers in the soft zones. You have Josh Allen playing stupid fucking ball. You have the Bills shooting themselves in the foot. And is the Broncos... I mean, let me ask you this. Are the Broncos moving it up and down the field against this Bills team when they're doing Shermer ball? But when they run Bucket Man, Chop to Liver, and Bubble Man football, they actually have success. Yeah, th that those those play sequences when before they went three and out, those play sequences was Bronco content creator football, and look what happened—you went three and out. Two wide receivers, three wide receivers, one tight end. Sorry. 
Okay, 13 comes in motion. <sighs> Running it. Look how look how this look how look how this defensive line is getting pushed back at will. Holy shit. They're getting pushed back three five yards. Watch this defensive line. Watch the front seven. Watch the front seven here. They're just getting pushed back. Holy shit. All right, there. Heavy personnel, one wide receiver. Number 14 comes in motion again. Play action pass. Open right here. Okay. Good play by DJ Jones. Good recognition, DJ. Yeah. I can get behind that. Good play, DJ. And that's a fucking defense alignment, a zero-tech nose tackle that is getting out there in the flats. That is a defense alignment. That should be the linebacker's responsibility, not the defense alignment's responsibility. But good play recognition by DJ Jones. They won't show you that, and they won't tell you that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five wide receiver set. Spread out the Broncos. Attack those soft zones. Wide open right here against Singleton. He's wide fucking open. Get rid of it. Oh my God. He was too late to throw the ball. He was too late to throw the ball there. He, throw, he should have thrown it there and led his receiver. That would have been a first down if he would have thrown it sooner. What a terrible, again, Josh Allen, again, he's worried about the commercials. He's worried about being the man. The Bills need to sit him down in the offseason, tell him that he needs to take what the defense is giving him in the off zones. Stop forcing the ball. He's looking for the big throw. He's open right now. Throw it. Oh, God. And again, the receiver, again, dropped the football. What's going to happen when you have a team that actually connects on those plays and doesn't drop the football? You guys don't talk about that, but we're kicking the Bills' ass, aren't we, Denver? Yeah, we're showing them. We're putting the fear of God in the Bills. All right, here we go. You know, I think Marvin Mims has been the best punt returner since Tristan Holiday. Just saying. I love what the special teams has been doing in the return game. In the return game. I like what the special teams has done. So again, you guys will just choose what you want to hear in this video. Say, I hate the Broncos, but there are things I like, but they need to get consistent with it. All right, you're in good field position. Two wide receivers. Here we go. Russell Wilson switching the play here. His cadence. We'll crack back block there by Miners. There you go. That was all because of Miners. And again, McGlinchey's man was able to... Again, McGlinchey, 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 McFlinchey, McFlinchey. But look at look at this play by Quinn and Miners. Look at this crack back block by Quinn and Miners. They pull him and that springboards it. And then look at McFlinchey. Look at McFlinchey getting pushed back. And his man is still able... I Come on, McFlinchy! Set the fucking edge! Holy shit! Yeah, 79.1 pro football focus grade. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, heavy personnel, two wide receivers... Uh, a tight end and a receiver. Again, love this heavy personnel. What are they doing? Oh, quick pass. Again, as a defender, what are you supposed to do? I mean, honestly. Again, that's a hell of a catch by Cortland Sutton because the ball was not thrown in the spot that should have been thrown. It was kind of thrown behind him, and he had to make it like right in here. But still, a perfect catch and able to maintain it. But as a defender, what are you supposed to do? I mean, you can't play defense anymore in the NFL. That's just facts. You can't hit anybody. It's touch football. Two wide receivers. Two tight ends. Right there. That's exactly... That is one of the better plays I've seen. All That was one of the better plays I've seen all game is this play right here. 
I love this play. This is exactly how you need to use Judy. Tack those soft zones right there. Wide open. Get rid of it. That's a great play. Good play, Denver. Good play. Got to be fair. Good play. Again, in my personal opinion, Jerry Judy is a better slot receiver than an outside receiver because he cannot consistently get open downfield. But if you use him on these slant routes and these screens right here, boom. Get rid of it. Perfect. That is bucket man, chop deliver, and bow man football right there. Slants get the ball out quick. Okay, 19 coming to motion. Two wide receivers. Okay, Russell Wilson again changing, changing the cadence, changing the play. There you go. Run the ball. Again, positive yardage. Positive yardage. Positive yardage. Again, I told you folks, I've told you time and time and time again. This is exactly how you need to play this type of offense. The player personnel fits this offense better than... Jesus Christ. I'm going to go back to that play because what I saw from... it. I mean, look at McFlinchy here. And look at Trotman, man. The, these guys, I don't understand why you continue to run it behind them. Why can't you run it behind... Uh, Miners and fucking Cushenberry that are better moving forward. I just don't get it. Two tight ends, one receiver, single back. Again, running the football again. Running the football. Quinn and Bailey, God, man. Ugh, Quinn Bailey getting pushed back. Watch Quinn Bailey, number 75 here. He's holding. That should have been a hold. Okay, three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back. 82 coming in motion, play action. Oh, my God. Again, they were able to get there, but were not able to get home. Again, when a team is able to get home on them, then we're going to see it. I've been trying to tell you folks that for weeks, and you guys just pick what you want to listen to. Again, that's just a missed block by 25. And Cushenberry, look at Cushenberry again, again. Look at Cushenberry right here against Ed Oliver. You folks don't believe me? The film doesn't lie. The film doesn't lie, folks. Look at this. Look at Cushenberry. There's, he's bear hugging him again. Fucking bear hugging. Is that what we do now as offensive linemen? Why can't we get offensive linemen that are good in the technique game? Oh, that's right, because the NFL doesn't care about good O-line play anymore. But the teams that have better the better O-lines in the league, like the Lions, Eagles, teams like that, they're the, uh, the Ravens, those teams are the best teams in the NFL. Okay, this is the... Okay, again, you know, this is, this is a great play by Russell Wilson and Cortland Sutton. But again, nine times out of ten, you're not going to get this consistently. But I have to give credit where credit is due. This is a hell of a play by both players. And again, I said, I said Cortland Sutton is a better red zone threat. I, I said that. I've said that time and time and time again. Again, Shaq Lawson could have got a sack there. But again, they're not able to get home. But they were able to get to, they were able to cause some confusion for Wilson. But this is a hell of a play. By Russell Wilson and Cortland Sutton. So I have to give credit where credit is due. But 9 times out of 10, that's not going to happen consistently. Missed tackle by Delaney Turner Yell. <clears throat> you know, and you know what? I have to give the special teams credit for this. At least they're not giving up the big plays when the opposing team is returning the football. You know, this looks like a stable special teams in the kick return and uh, punt return game. In the kickoff game. I got to give credit. We don't talk about the special teams enough. I have to give credit to that. Okay, so right here you have a three wide receiver set. 
single tight end next to Spencer Brown. Look how far off uh, he's playing. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. Still baffles me. Again, there you go. Missed tackle by Slow C. <laughs> Slow C. Jewel and uh, PJ Lock both missed a tackle there. Where's the pass rush, by the way? I don't see it. Where's the pass rush? PJ. God, man. Wow. Wow. Where's the pass rush at? Where's uh, Where's this uh, great edge room here? Where is it? Where's this great edge room? I don't. I don't know where it's at. Okay, next play, you have a two wide receiver set down at the bottom, single receiver, halfback jaw. There you go. There you go. Look at that, man. Look at look at our linebackers get destroyed on this play. Look at Slowly fucking Jewel. Yeah, Josie Jewel. Wow, man. That's a great linebacker right there. As a linebacker's coach myself, if I saw this on the film, I'd be ripping into Josie Jewell right now. The way, again, both Josie Jewell and Alex Singleton. Uh, Justin Simmons. Good job, Justin, for stopping a big play there. His two good plays a game. Look at this. Look at both of these linebackers. They just wait for contact. You, As a linebacker, you don't wait for contact. That's football 101. Yeah, good job, Josie Jewell and Alex Singleton. If uh, sw I swear, Denver Broncos linebackers coach, you should be ripping into your linebackers. Seriously. Look how far off Sertan's playing, by the way. Another halfback draw. Again, positive yardage. Poor tackling by this Broncos team. They can't tackle. Look at Delaney Turner yell. Yeah, I. you know how much shit I got when I critiqued that draft pick? Go to Denver Broncos Mile High View. The film breakdown's on that. I critique that draft pick because I think he sucks. Look at that. Look at that poor tackle. Are you fucking kidding me? That guy's a starting... That guy's a safety in this league? Another, another run play. Again, when the Bills were running simplistic football, they were doing it with ease. But when they were doing the fucking bullshit shooting themselves in the foot... That's when you saw the Bills beating themselves. But it's really funny when they're running simplistic football how easy it is for the Bills. So you got a three wide receiver set. You're in third and manageable. Run the ball again. Booyah. First down. Wow. It just it, Isn't it funny when a team actually plays simplistic football, they're actually able to drive on this defense? Huh. One, two, three, wide receiver set again. Look how far off Sertan attacks Sertan. There. Boom. A missed tackle by Monroe. Unreal, man. Unfucking real. Booyah, right there. Again, wow. It, it, the quick passing game. Again, this is a terrible tackling unit. Terrible. Again, they're, look, look how easy they're moving the ball now. They're running the football, quick passing game. Look at that. Look at that. It, are they having a tough time moving on this defense now that they're playing bucket man, bubble man, and chop deliver football? No. Okay, look how far off these corners are playing. I just can't. I can't. Oh, my 51 sucks. 51 out. Yeah, Simmons. Yeah, top safety in the league, Simmons. Yeah, you, you look like you're a top safety. Good tackle, Simmons. Get the fuck out of here. Look at number 51. Look at 51. What what the fuck are you doing? Look at our linebackers. Look at Josie Jewell. Look at Justin Simmons. Yeah, look at all these great players on this defense just kicking the Bills' ass. Look at Jewell. Look at number 51 to begin it. Watch Jewell. Singleton, what kind of angle is that, dude? What kind of dude? You need to shuffle your feet and then make the tackle. That's foot. That's linebacker one hundred and one. 
And look at Justin Simmons. Again, why are you waiting for the guy? Go and make the fucking tackle. Holy shit. He sucks. Yeah, Simmons. Yeah, you're kicking the Bills ass, Simmons. Watch this. Look at look at Singleton. Look at Jewel. Now watch Simmons here. Is it? Look at him. He's just waiting. Shuffle your feet and then attack. Stop waiting for the guy. And then you look like that. You're going to be... God damn. He cannot tackle, dude. Okay, four wide receiver set. Again, there we go. Justin Simmons. Again, that's Justin Simmons, man. That's Justin Simmons, man. Yeah, Justin Simmons, best safety AFC uh, football player of the week. That's Justin Simmons' responsibility. That is Justin Simmons' responsibility. That is Justin Simmons' responsibility. And you know what? Booyah. With fucking ease. Whose field did they attack? Did they attack PJ Locke's field? Or did they attack Justin Simmons' field with Sertan? Look at that shit. Justin Simmons. Good job, Simmons. You're the best. Top safety in the league. So, basically, what this film breakdown showed me was the Bills shooting themselves in the foot, missing opportunities. The Denver Broncos, on the other hand, actually stuck to uh, what? Uh, bucket man, chopped liver, and bubble man football. But again, what's going to happen when a team doesn't turn it over five times? What actually happened to the Bills when they actually did plays like this, when they ran simplistic Buffalo Bills, this defense is begging to be thrown on football? They moved it down the field with ease, no hesitation. So again, you guys think that we kicked the Bills' ass? You might want to go watch the All-22 film and not cherry-pick the plays, but actually watch it in its entirety and make your judgment. So again, you guys want to continue just to blindly listen to these content creators, but don't listen to the people that actually bring you the All-22 film. You know... You guys think I hate the Denver Broncos. When I watch the All-22 film, I break it down into much bigger detail than you people even fucking imagine. That's what a coach does. And when I see shit like this, it pisses me off. Because I want players that are consistent, not inconsistent. I want players that are getting better. Is Justin Simmons getting better each and every year? Is Josie Jewell and Alex Singleton getting better? That's the question I have for you guys. But you know what? I, if you're gonna come on my if you're gonna come on my film breakdown and do your typical fucking bullshit, you guys are your comments gonna get removed. I'm not gonna engage with people that are stupid. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not wasting my energy, time, and my brain cells with you folks. So watch the all twenty two film. This is the Bucket Man signing out. This is Kirk signing off.